Yes, thank you for that. Um, where to begin? I'm here to share with you my journey and our journey generally to ERP Next. Um, to the dear host, Mr. Muchai. <laughs> the vote of thanks you couldn't wait for yesterday. <laughs> First of all, thank you very much for hosting us and for hosting this Frappe event. When we heard... <laughs> yes. When we heard that uh, Frappe was coming to Kenya, we had to shut everything down. <laughs> right? You might think it's a fear of missing out. And yes, it is. It's a fear of missing out. Right? But from our perspective, all good things in East Africa seem to come from Kenya first. Right? <laughs> Everything. Right? So when you're driving around these streets, you see all the, Amer the companies are here, but none is in Uganda. Okay? So yes, it's a fear of missing out, but for good reason. So when we heard that you were hosting the Frappe conference, yes, we had to be here, and we are grateful for that. But more important than that, okay, it's not more important, but... It's one of the important things. We were here a little over two years ago. Yeah? Oh, it feels like that. Yeah? And at that time, we were considering a partnership with Frappe. Right? We had been operating as unlicensed partners. Um, but even before that, uh, the, the story really starts about 22 years ago, right? <laughs> Again, a fear of missing out. My father came here to Nairobi. Next thing we knew, he came back with uh, a contract from Unilever, right? To, to create their distribution uh, network in Kampala, right? Though, before that, we were already uh, running our family business using Tally. So yes, Tally is my background in, and introduction into ERP. I've used Tally for the past 24 or something years. And uh, when he brought that deal home, it expanded our operations, right? So you can imagine, say, imagine 2001, I don't know where Kenya was, 2001 to 2010, a business with 15, 20 trucks running around in that jungle of Kampala, right? And 70 plus stock keeping units, um, 30 plus salesmen, maybe 50 employees, half of them thugs, <laughs> ready to steal your inventory at the blink of an eye. <laughs> and these are very valuable, fast moving consumer goods. You know, you know Unilever. Blue Band, Omo Koge. So all the rules had to change. You had to count stock every minute. Should you load a truck, count stock. Before you load the truck, count stock. Right? Reconcile this, reconcile that. So all of a sudden, Tally, which is a very great solution. I'm not here to bash Tally. It is definitely a great solution. I recommend it for inventory management. Right? For SMEs, it's really awesome. Right? However, it was not enough, because now we had to supplement with spreadsheets, right? All kinds of spreadsheets to reconcile each, each van, each store, because now we have five stores, right? Excuse me. And whenever another distributor collapsed, it is us who came in. So we always were getting new territory. So it was always paramount to expand. But imagine we were working with an offline, on-premise solution, which is Tally, all right? And that really is the birth of all the solution provision that we've been thinking about with the ERP Next and with the ERP Generally. Thank you. So our dear host, when we came here, and we opened up to you about our concerns. Uh, we are mostly thankful, but really we are surprised 
that you, you opened up to us. You gave us all the time you needed, all the time we needed. We were actually late, surprisingly. Normally, you're the late one. But <laughs> yes, but we were there. You gave us, uh, that was actually the true open source spirit, right? And that's why we love open source and the people behind open source. It is, uh, yeah. yes, it is that culture of sharing knowledge, sharing your blueprints, right? And well, of course, my knowledge and is beyond accounting because I'm also into hardware. So when I also look at the open source hardware movement, that's another thing that's coming, right? So we are truly excited by this open source. And to see you with that open source character, oh, that, that has really lifted stakes. We went back, we applied for partnership, we work, and we are now partners. So thank you for that. It's a year, nearly a year in, and we are not really complaining. Uh, the partners are treating us fairly well. Thank you for your recommendation. And because of that, we consider you our godfather. So you're now our godfather. <laughs> and actually, this entire ecosystem, as you notice, Frappe is 100% open source. It's open source first, which means build the community first. So please accept the honorary title of good father of this ecosystem so that you help build this ecosystem. So thank you very much for that. To Frappe Technologies, we are equally blessed to be in your presence. My team is first and foremost uh, a bunch of open source buffs, right? <laughs> At least me, I'm an accounting buff, but they are open source buffs. So to combine that and to watch it grow has been a challenge. But to sit with you yesterday and uh, to spend a day with us uh, all the way in Eastern Kenya, is it Western Kenya, right? Western Kenya at Hell's Gate and so on. Um, Really, that was a very special opportunity for us uh, to dig into your mind and see how you think and, and to realize that this is really beyond just software. It's really an open source philosophy. And we do appreciate that. Thank you very much. So my team is in absolute awe and fascination with your work. Thank you very much. So as my career progressed from working with uh, Tally and all its limitations, I moved further into consultancy, business consultancy, trying to look into how to provide more solutions for businesses beyond accounting. And one of the common factors that I find is that we are all using different systems which are not talking to each other. And in other cases, no systems at all, at least from where I come from, in the jungles of Africa. And, and whichever section I think about, let's call it, let's say investor readiness. That's one of the biggest buzz, buzz, buzzwords going on right now, isn't it? Investor readiness. Uh, SMEs are all trying to raise capital and so on. And uh, you'll find that business incubators or accelerators that are involved in this kind of work, um, and I was a consultant with them, so I'm criticizing myself as well. Um, we really, we lacked a platform to be practical with our consulting, all right? So case in point, we talk to clients and tell them, go streamline your processes. But to really streamline a process without a system in mind, you know, it's really just theoretical. So in, you know, in addition, so basically, I don't know if I'm bringing my point out right. The first task was to address accountants, which was actually my third point, to accountants, because we are 
very much the internal champions that push the adoption of systems, right? And at the same time, we are the limitations of adoption. So to my surprise, 22 years later, I still find people using Tally, QuickBooks. And again, uh, this is not to say that they are bad systems, but your clients, your employers, have needs which are beyond the monthly management accounts, right? So I'm here to encourage accountants to first of all, think beyond accounting and embrace ERP. And ERP, right? When you embrace ERP, it is really thinking about processes. How do we do things? So in case you're also wondering um, career projection or things like that, I would recommend ERP, right? It expands your worldview. But just as I was here to encourage you to expand your worldview, Hussein comes in and tells you, beyond ERP next. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here to say beyond accounting, but Hussein is now saying beyond ERP next. And I think now that's what is exciting uh, but it took us aback for a second. But we now appreciate your strategy of taking out all the apps, making them specific, go deeper into them, because the biggest criticism was that most ERPs, they give you a broad framework, which is great, we do all this, but we're not deep enough in each module, okay? So you find the CRM module, it gives you what you want, but it might not go all the way to what Salesforce does, right? So I suppose, and I suspect this is your strategy, to take them out and focus, which is great. We accept that. <laughs> but what you've done is you've actually separated the building blocks, the Frappe framework, from ERP Next. We're still understanding that, yeah? But yes, you are forcing all of us to think about business processes. And furthermore, why we love the ERP Next is that it helps us dream about solutions that we can provide. So we could be thinking about ERP implementations, and that's great. But case in point, the gentleman, the doctor who stood here, uh, just a round of applause for him. Um, Oh, he's right there. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we are just dreaming about what you're doing. Right? <laughs> yes, we are thinking about how the healthcare industry in Uganda could be transformed by ERP Next. I'm not talking about a hospital, because we can still think about, about a hospital. And ERP Next does that, great but it's helping us think about industry-wide problems. And that's what I'm encouraging accountants, mm -hmm. please don't hold your clients back. Tally is great, QuickBooks is great, and, I'm, and you know, we'll give them all their credits, <laughs> but ERP next, yeah, that's something else. <laughs> so frappe.school should be your homepage. <laughs> Furthermore, to accounting students who I interact with a lot, I know that there is a fear of AI and its potential impact to uh, uh, upset our profession. First of all, I would like to tell you that I was having that same conversation uh, with my father 20 years ago before I got into accounting. And before that, I found that another 10, 15 years ago, other people were having that same conversation. And we are still having it today. Now, that's not to say that AI is not a threat. But what I would like to say is what better way of dealing with that threat than with embracing an open source technology which gives you the accounting you need but allows you to open the boot, look into the code, deal with the IT developers, 
deal with project managers so that you start developing solutions because you're now thinking beyond ERP or rather you're, you're thinking beyond accounting for starters then you're going to think beyond ERP next to actually trying to solve industry problems. Okay, I'm going past my time, right? Yes. So that's my uh, piece of advice for accountants. Jump onto the ERP Next bandwagon. It's open source. That's the best way to deal with AI so that you can help us tame this AI beast, which is threatening everyone. Okay. And your homepage should be frappe.school. So with those few words, and sharing my experiences. Maybe just one last thing to Mr. Rushab. I looked for software for so long. SourceForge.net was my homepage. And just like him, he, he's forgotten them, but I'm sure you've looked at front accounting, you've looked at open taps, you've looked at open this, open that. Yes, we've been there. <laughs> but I wonder why ERP Next did not show up at SourceForge. But the minute it's, it showed up, I dumped everything else. So with that, we salute you and thank you for your work. Thank you. I don't suppose there are any questions or remarks. I suppose that was it. Quite straightforward. Thank you.